And good evening. It is the most closely watched special election in recent memory. The Alabama Senate showdown between Roy Moore and Doug Jones. Moore has been repeatedly accused of sexual misconduct. And as the issue has dominated headlines in recent weeks, today it also became the starting point of a bitter argument between President Trump and a prominent U.S. Senator. Kirsten Gillibrand from Mr. Trump's home state of New York first said the president should resign over allegations of misconduct before Mr. Trump took office. He fired back with his weapon of choice, the tweet. With the latest on this, here's Nancy Cordes. It was a sexist smear attempting to silence my voice. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand was attending a bipartisan Bible study this morning when the president sent his suggestive tweet, calling her a lightweight and flunky who once begged him for campaign contributions and would do anything for them. I think it was shameful. Democrats called the president's words nasty and grotesque. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren even accused him of trying to intimidate and slut shame Gillibrand. I think only if your mind is in the gutter would you have read it that way. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders insisted there was no innuendo. He's obviously talking about uh, political partisan games that people often play and the broken system that he's talked about repeatedly. But by this afternoon, more than 100 House Democrats had signed a letter requesting that the House Committee on Oversight investigate the reports of sexual misconduct raised against President Trump by more than a dozen women, stretching back to the 1980s. Forced kissing, unwanted touching and groping on an airplane, in a corporate office, in a pageant dressing room. Democrats forced out two of their own members last week over similar allegations. I'm sorry, Mr. President, you do not live under a different set of rules. But the party that controls Congress... What we're in charge of here is the Senate. ...does not want to touch the issue. Should there be a formal investigation? I thought that's what the last election was. Gillibrand says she won't stop trying. Republican leaders have been reluctant to even acknowledge the allegations against President Trump. Why do you think they'd be willing to open an investigation? That is the right thing to do, and I am urging them to do that, and as should their constituents. Late this afternoon, the Republican chair of the House Oversight Committee officially declined to open an investigation, but for an unexpected reason. He said the allegations against President Trump, if true, are crimes and therefore are better handled by the Justice Department than Congress. Jeff? Nancy Cordes, thank you very much.